Okay, so you have your website done and you want to upload it to GitHub so it can be viewable by anyone online. Let's learn how to do that. I have my GitHub account open here in this internet browser window. Over here, I have a folder where I've been saving all of my assignments for our web class. And the one we just completed in an earlier tutorial was the CIC series. This is the folder here. When I open it up, you see I have my styles, my index.html, and my images folder that has my three images in there. All right, now what we need to do is once you are in GitHub, you can go either scroll down and you can create a new repository down here, or if that's not showing up on your screen, you can go over here to new repository and we'll click on that. And then we have a little bit of information to put in here. Uh, I will always call my repository name for this the same that I called my folder, which is always gonna be all lowercase, all one word. All right, so this one was CIC series. It says it is available, good. And you can put a description in there if you want. And then underneath that, we have two choices. We could either go public or private. We want this to be public so that you can turn this into me for a grade. And then we don't need to add a readme right now. Uh, everything else I think is good. If you want to, you can click on the license and you can uh, change it to any of those if you want, but I'm gonna leave it for none for right now. Uh, once that's done, I can click create a repository. And what I wanna do is that when I go to this highlighted blue area, I can find where it says upload an existing file. I'll click on that. This is the easiest way to do it. And then if I open up my CIC series folder here and I select these three things, then I can drop the contents of this folder into this folder. And now when it, when it uploads those, you can see they're listed right here. And then down here is a commit changes button. So I'm gonna click on that. You have to do that every time, otherwise it's not gonna um, update your repository. And then here is our things that we just got done uploading. I can click on images and I can find those images in there. I can click back. If I click on index.html, I can see the actual code in here, all right? And the styles, I could click there and I see the actual code. When I'm here in this area, in this C, up here I have github.com, slash what my rep what my uh, account name is and then i have my repository after that this is part of the thing you're going to turn in to me for a grade all right so when i say that i want the link to the repository folder this is the link that i'm talking about here it'll be github.com slash your account slash whatever the name is of the folder that you created Okay, the second thing we need to do, because this isn't making our page viewable online, this is how I can go in and look at your code, but this isn't gonna let anybody see what your web page should look like. It's not published. So the next step for that is going up here to settings. Click on that. And you'll notice on the left-hand side, we have these different options. One of these options is pages. If I click on that, and you go to the source, make sure that you have deploy from a branch on there. And then if you go down here to these two options, one of them says none. I want to switch that to main. And the second one, we want that to be set to root. Uh, then once that is done, we will click save here. And it'll be just a moment, but once the page is fully published, when you click refresh, you'll see a link up here. So we'll go ahead and try it. And now when I look at this up here, I have my address. Now, sometimes it might take a while. Sometimes it's about five minutes. Sometimes it might be 10 minutes. Sometimes you may have to close out and then go back into it a little bit later, and then it'll show up but eventually you will have your address up here. And then you'll notice down here, it says last deployed by your username and it'll tell you how long ago it was. 
uh, you can click this link here or go to visit site. When you do that, it'll take you to your page. And then this address is what I'm talking about when I refer to the live link. So the two links that you'll send me, one of them is the live link. And again, if I am here at my main page, I can get to that by going here to repositories. And then I can find the one that I edited, which is my CIC, my CIC series. I click on that. And up here is the link for the repository. All right. So you'll turn in that link to me. And then if you go up here to settings and then go over here on the left-hand side to pages, then here is the link for your live link. And those are the two links that you'll send me. So that way I can make sure that you have it published properly and it's viewable to anyone online. And I can also see your code so I can go in and grade it. Uh, so make sure you bookmark this if you need to, because we'll be going through this process uh, each week as we're uploading our projects for our assignments for this term. And each time we do it, we'll just be uh, adding another repository in there. Uh, you can go to repositories and click new, and then the process continues new each week where we'll have a folder in here for each of our main projects that we do. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, hopefully this helped you out with that process a little bit and we'll catch you on our next lesson.